Good morning, James. Did you have a magical night of sleep? That is a big old yawn. You wanna go on the balcony with me? Sarah came out here with socks on and the ground was a little moist from overnight rain. It was lightning like crazy this morning. I am in <laughs> the sunniest spot ever. But we have this cute little wall having the best morning ever and she is getting melted. Just tilt your head back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Comfy. <laughs> the absolute greatest feature of any DVC in any vacation place of accommodation is the balcony. We're gonna get this boy changed. I have my hair. <laughs> we're gonna get this boy changed and then we're gonna go down and see if there's seating at Primo Piatto. If not, we'll just order to go and eat it up here. But we don't have much time. We only have like an hour and a half, hour and a half left before checkout. James, he, James, he cannot get his sneeze out. He's very sensitive to light. Like whenever we go out in the sunshine, he sneezes. He's hanging out in front of your line. Get that sneeze out! Alright, we got a cute baby. We got a cute resort. We put in our... Put in our order that's being prepared. And we have this beautiful view. And we moved our table over here because it's being blocked. The sun's being blocked by the so building. <laughs> moist. Yeah, these are a little bit more moist. But good thing we got baby blankets. Heck yeah! Him. One of the best screens in this modern Disney World age is this right here. Order ready for pickup. Look at this. It's the Leaning Tower of Breakfast. Whoa. What is that? Oh my That's goodness. The, the croque monsieur. The blueberry lemon pancakes. Mmm. That thing is massive. And then your continental breakfast. Ooh, there's polenta in there. We got three entrees to split between the two of us because we couldn't choose. Right. And what is that? That is uh, banana bread. Banana bread. Banana bread. Ooh. So I am super silly, and I don't know. I said continental breakfast to Peter, but what it's actually called is the Primo Pieta, right? Pieta. Yeah. Um, breakfast and that has the polenta and eggs and sausage so then when I looked inside there I was like this is not right but I did say continental breakfast um, but Peter knows how much I wanted that like that out of the three was what I was most excited for so he's gonna go and order it for me I need to stop and show you this as I'm like mid cutting and preparing all of it so we can just enjoy well making sure James is good delicious looking pancakes I haven't had them yet the, the Italian sausage is amazing, but look at this ridiculousness. Oh my gosh. Bless you. I also got a fancy coffee, I didn't even tell Sarah. Ooh. Cafe Mocha. Oh, bless you. Bless you. We don't have the mic anymore. So I don't know if you can fully hear it, but... <laughs> James just got dripped up. An Italian version of On My Way mm -hmm. from, from Brother the Bear. Bears playing. Yeah, we sing the song all the time. It sounds so good in Italian. How was the pancakes there just started? Pancakes are so good. He wants them. <laughs> this is what Sarah thought the continental breakfast was. <laughs> so I just picked that up. So I am like animal product out, I think, but I mean, it looks good. This roll looks really good. That was in it for the polenta. How's my hair? <laughs> Great. I think we're going to be so satisfied, but I think our bellies are going to hurt in a little bit. But we also have to eat quickly because we have 40 minutes to eat this and pack up our room and, and leave. And he decided he needed breakfast. Sarah still has to eat all of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's her half. But it's 10.30 and we're going to go upstairs so we can start. So while Sarah finishes eating, eat, eating with James, I'm going to start packing up the room. My hair is crazy. It's windy. It's really windy. And I just want to go to Epcot, but we have to go home and see Eve and edit the vlog and 
do normal because we're not we'll like truly true. Maybe we'll go tonight. We if did we're... get Rise of the Resistance passes, but we're gonna cancel them. I think. I think we're, oh no, we're out. It. Oh no. That's so sad. <laughs> Why did they do that? It's not even checkout yet. Oh gosh, my only qualm, only qualm of the whole weekend. The whole night, because we were only here one night. We are only here 24 hours. Was the music on this? It's kind of stressful. It's just repetitive. It's repetitive. And like, very European. I'm American, I need rock and roll. One last look off of this balcony. Wow. This is a glorious one. Yeah. <laughs> It's very sunny. For our sensitive boy. <laughs> the next time we're amped about a balcony, we'll be here on vacation. It's yeah. so bittersweet. I got a lot of emotions going on right now about it, but yeah. it's gonna be good. It's going to be. It's gonna be good. And let's go home and see our puppy. Yes. This yeah. is one of my favorite benefits of the stroller and the buggy That's why being. it's called a dog Because <laughs> it carries things. I can just pile everything on there. We can leave in one trip. Yeah. I'm so happy we got to do this. Oh so my. It was great. It wasn't, it wasn't, the availability wasn't looking like it was in the cards, but it came through. Mm -hmm. He's a big kid. Alright. Let's take our goodbyes and head out. You like the mirror? You see you in there? Say bye, Ru. you beautiful beautiful surprise of a resort really blew me away and I didn't expect it so can't wait to stay here again tired for how relaxing of a trip we had. I'm gonna have to figure out like what we want to do the rest of the day. Cause look, yeah. we gotta have the vlog. I gotta run to Mal's at some point today. Cook dinner. Cook dinner, but it's like, do we go back to the parks? Do we watch the Super Bowl for the commercials in the halftime? Many hours later, we have a very talkative baby chewing on his hand. Beep, beep, beep. Sarah edited the vlog. We watched WandaVision, some YouTube, some movies. Yeah. But now I'm supposed to go on a 10 mile training run. Why did that just weirdly start? That's kind of creepy. My <laughs> bug's left just randomly started playing. So I'm gonna go get changed and go on a 10 mile run See, while the sun is setting. You can do Thanks. You're too cute. The delicious hand. About five and a half miles in. Feeling good. Feeling so good I don't want to stop to vlog because I'm going to try to ride this high until inevitably my calves or something start burning. Um, but we're getting the 10 miles done. I'm excited. I haven't run double digits in a while. So every week with my Milwaukee training plan, my long run goes up two miles. So we're not turning back now. Double digits until the end now. Okay, we'll see if this little guy will hang out for this little clip. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to you guys because we 
I have a lot going on right now. We have a lot going on that we're sharing with the vlog. We have a lot going on that we aren't. Um, there's just, you know, a lot to tackle while you're moving across the country, raising a small little baby. Um, Peter is putting in some miles to do some serious training, um, throw in work. Also, I don't think, I think I just mentioned it on Instagram Live. This is wonderful news. My little sister Christina, her husband Grant, and their kids Violet and Luca, who you've seen on the vlog before, they actually moved out of my mom's house. Today was their big moving day. They've been kind of going back and forth and just moving little bit by little bit, but now they are actually staying. And it's less than a mile away from our apartment on the north side. And so that makes our move by um, up by Wrigley that much sweeter because we will have family close by and not just any family, you know, family that we're super close with and just super exciting. Um, so, you know, there's just a lot to manage, moving emotions with um, taking this leap and you guys are such a constant for us. I know I haven't had the chance to respond to comments lately. Ever since he's been born, I have been reading every single comment. I heart them as I read them, so truly I am seeing them and I so appreciate that. Social media, we still reply to everybody. We're still posting on our discussion group, Instagram. Um, I am trying to get back into regular posting and just kind of like feeling good about the creative work that I'm producing because you know so much changed with COVID and us home vlogging for so long just getting back into the swing of posting and just sharing our story and our life with all of you making connections with all of you um, but truly through the ups and downs the entire time we've lived here you guys have been our constant and I just want to say thank you and we truly do love you guys and we're so excited to continue when we move to Chicago to continue sharing the way that we do every single day and sharing with you a new place that is so dear to our hearts but also having opportunities to travel other places of course when um, when things are a little bit more settled in the world with the virus, vaccines rolled out, all of that. Um, but just different kind of storytelling, you know, sharing this little guy and his future siblings and how we find our way to them. Um, we're just super grateful and excited and every other emotion in between. 10 miles over. Um, I'm really glad I did it. Like it, it's a bummer that we didn't go to Epcot like we thought. But now we still have the evening. We might watch the halftime show, something like that. I, we both have Sarah and I both have some work to do tonight, but we have to uh, give a little importance and priority to these long runs because not only am I running a marathon in Milwaukee, I'm running 50 milers. So what I just did, I'd have to do four more times in one run. And I have to be able to, ready to do that in June. So, but I like running and it's now, it's been like a, better three, three, four weeks of me running more consistently and I'm, I'm feeling back, starting to feel it. The uh, the excitement of the run and, and the, the feeling the groove after the first mile when the rust falls off. So it's all very motivating. I just gotta keep it up. So I guess we're gonna watch um, the Super Bowl. However, I will take any excuse to eat chips and dip. We all, we all know where my heart lies. Also, I'm gonna have second Pepsi of the day. This is James sleeping with his eyes open, but I've been wanting to show this cute bib that um, one of you guys sent us. I love it. Oh, I woke him up. Oh gosh, now he's awake. And we just might be going to a place that has some of these things on display very soon. Good news, he's, he's back asleep. For two not sportsy people, Super Bowl was okay. Halftime was entertaining. Knew more weekend songs than we realized. You did. What? You knew more than me. Yeah. And then the few commercials that we saw were, were pretty good. We both had work to do tonight, so that went fine, I think. Right? Yeah. 
And so now we watched um, CC and Schmidt's proposal in New Girls, and we had to jump to CC and, Schmidt, and Schmidt's wedding scene. And now we're watching something that I I always joke around and say I watch this once a month, but it's not too far off that. Sarah, you know what to do. Put that description in that link because. Yeah, it's the greatest video of my life. I think we actually owe you two. One from last night for the 6th and one for tonight. Okay, so I messed up, if you couldn't hear Sarah, and I have to read the 5th and the 7th. So the 5th is from Anonymous. Try being informed instead of just opinionated. Oh, I think the whole world needed that over the past, like, three, three to six months. And the 7th is by... Hafiz, may the gratitude in my heart kiss all the universe. I dig it. You know when we read it, those messages, you know that that's coming soon. Excuse me, sir, but where are your pens? Jamesy boy found his feet. Oh gosh, <laughs> he's just folding himself like a pretzel. I want to thank everybody for joining our adventure this weekend. It was uh, really, 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 really fun, great. It's always fun to do like first experiential things, especially when it's Sarah's and mine's both first time doing something here in Disney. A um, little emotional, a little fun, a little crazy, a little quirky, a little unplanned, so all the good things. Next weekend's a long weekend, and we have plans for one day which will be fun. Not Disney, not theme park related, but our la another last that we're doing before we are out of the area, so. It's crazy, because what is it, two full weekends left? Yeah. It is, we're down to three weeks, right? And two full weekends. And it's not even three full weeks. Look at this super baby. You've been sleeping since I've been home since the run. We're here to say a quick good night. We love you guys, and it's good to be home. It's good to be home. You got a big old maggot, my boy. Isn't he just the sweetest? We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.